talking about the why, this has been spoken of millions and millions of times that we all know um, this product here. But really, what it's all about is maybe an analogy or metaphor that you can create by using something like this. So remember the time when you had that Sony Walkman in your pocket and you had those batteries that died and you had, it went and you'd be running down the street and it's gone. Then they created the CD Walkman and you'd have a stack of CDs like that in your pocket and to change CD from CD, because you get bored. But then what they did was imagine 3,000 songs in your pocket at any one time. You can pick between albums to albums to albums. I know it's gone a little bit further on than that, that now. We have Spotify and On Demand and Cloud and everything like that. But let's just give you an analogy. Another thing is what you could do is do metaphors to the different types of clients that you do have. So I remember A to Z, me driving around the streets of London with an A to Z, getting lost and getting annoyed with myself, flicking between pages and all that. And then I'd have to have a camera on me as well, and you have to have that camera on there. So what these fantastic guys did with a really complicated product your analogy, your metaphor, what you could have is you could have your cloud storage all in one place. You could have your CRM and your chat facilities all in one place. You could have your data analytics all in one place, the same as this. So what I'm saying to you is start to think of a metaphor of your cloud, your complicated cloud service that people can understand in a really simplistic way, that they get it and they understand it and then they can move forward. Does that make sense? So what I want you to think about after this is start writing a metaphor, an analogy, so that your data-driven customers can understand what your complicated cloud service might be. Which brings me on to 